life today, I came from fashion, but my life today is all about gay. And I'm honored to be here to talk about, about my passion. Because was, uh, now I'm gonna start. Because it was a game that changed my career. It was a game that made me learn English. It was another game built by me and three friends that gave us recognition in Imagine a Cup. Because of all that, today I'm here. But let's talk about the games. It's amazing the satisfaction that a game can give us. Actually, the many satisfaction. Because every time we finish a level or complete an achievement, we become happy with ourselves. And we get excited about reaching a more difficult level and test our capacities again. Imagine this idea in other parts of our lives. The one that can pass for revolution is education. Since 19, 1969, we know that listening and writing are the less effective content retaining ways of learning for students. Meanwhile, if we do or simulate something, we drastically improve this retaining rate. Today, technology is anywhere we go, in cars, public transportation, markets, doctor's offices, banks. For the young people, there's even more stimuli, such as computers, video games, MP3 players. And this technology that surrounds us can and should be part of school routine. Today, the world expects versatility, initiative, and good performance from the young people. But we must keep in mind that only with traditional classes, it's very difficult to form this student's profile. To be an active student, we must act. To be versatile, we need to experiment and develop skills. So we have to think about an environment with methods and techniques aimed to, to develop professional and social skills. With these tools to help, to assist the teacher to, to bring the teaching and learning, this process together. When a student is entertainment, he can repeat the same action with enthusiasm. And after training these abilities without noticing it, they can do in real life easier. For example, in a game like this, we could have learned engineer, math, or physics if we have to prepare our car to win before the race. Or instead of listening about wars and difficulties of a period, why not try to overcome them as a character within a game? Disappointments that have occurred in history could turn into simulation to teach us to not repeat the old mistakes. And we don't have to be listening all, all the class. To, to play as a demigod and face the divinities that we heard about in the history of Greece did make a lot of people take interest in mythology. And for those more curious, a name or an item that appears on the game is the reason to make a search on the internet and understand more and know more about this content. The Wikipedia of World of Warcraft, this game, is one of the largest in the world, with each item, name, or creature properly registered. Why not put relevant content in between this? So games can be applied, as the other media, to educational content, contest. With the teacher leading the skills to be after redo it on other parts of life. But then, why to try to make games? Because I know it's not easy if you have this other media. But in an entertainment environment like the game, we don't need to show the kids how to do things. They can discover by themselves to the feedback. And if they make any mistakes, they may try again. Because in games, you can do, you can get mistakes. For example, in this part of that Gavin says, said about, we are working with medicine. You can make mistakes on a game, not in real life. So you can train and can try again. And another unique point of the game is that the game itself can provide tools for the teacher to have an overview of the development of the student. So depending on the interest and how it's programmed, the game can show which questions have more wrong answers, what are the mistakes, and what, what students have made them. Our company is working on this too, to be used in conjunction with the game, where it shows what, what the students have done and blends, and the, the students don't, doesn't feel that. It just blend with the environment, take the information, and send to the teacher to be evalu evaluated. Sorry. So the, the students play in an environment where he doesn't feel pressure and get the, the experience. So I'm saying, playing with, playing by, uh, learn by playing will be a revolution, will be amazing for the students, and we can both 
provide learning and um, a rise of motivation among students with things like this. Thanks.